Yeah, Bill's not here. And of course, you are also a recipient of that award. Which, I mean, it seems like because there's so many of us here, that there's a lot of those awards out there, but there really aren't. They just only hire the best in the show, right? That's right, indeed. Well, now, ladies and gentlemen, watch up front right now, in front of us, Bill Stein taking off. Let's watch him in the Edge 540. This is a very lightweight carbon fiber airplane that's designed specifically for aerobatic competition and unlimited aerobatic air show flying. Weighing in at about 1,300 pounds, let's watch Bill Stein from California as he rips the sky into little pieces. With a very powerful 300 plus horsepower motor from Lycon aircraft engines and a Hartzell propeller. Over the top now, he does two four points of a four-point hesitation roll and then rolls it to the left with maximum performance aileron rolls. He'll get up to 250 miles per hour and, well, impose on his own body about 10 times his normal body weight as he does the spiraling tower on the upline. Okay, Bill Stein's bringing it right back in. From the right-hand side, and look at the paint job. BPG Aerospace, Harlequin paint. It changes colors. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Whoa, wait a minute. We got something. That's, as Bill Stein does a centrifuge, I think I've got to get on the air and talk to these guys for a minute. we got a problem. We have somebody else in the air. Uh, Bill Stein, Rob Ryder, we've got a problem right now. We've got uh, another aircraft in the air. It looks like the ending cannon took off too soon. What the heck? This is supposed to be my time, Rob. Well, I know it's supposed to be, but he's up there. Buchanan, can you get it on the ground, sir? What I want you to do is stay out of Bill Stein's way for crying out loud. You see him up there? I hear him up there. It's pretty loud. It's going to be. I don't have an engine. Well, yeah, but the engine up there, look at it. It's 12 o'clock and diving down uh, towards you a little bit. You bet better be careful. You may want to cut your tail feathers.
and then earned him his private and commercial pilot certificates. Since then, he's accrued more than 3,200 hours of flight time in hang gliders and sail planes. And after growing up on dirt bikes, his favorite adrenaline, adrenaline activity is still long distance desert racing and ATVs, which is why he lives in Nevada. Also kayaking and scuba diving. Here comes the wheelchair, and when Dan Buchanan is asked why he flies, his usual response is, I have to fly, I can't walk. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause, if you will, for the one and only Dan Dan McLaren. Yes, Rob Rod. This, this guy, Dan Buchanan, is such a terrific guy. You were telling me something about the handicap stickers that he doesn't use. Yeah, he uh, refused to use the wheelchair parking spots at malls. He says those are reserved for people that need them. He doesn't need them. And I've also seen him at Cherry Point go up two flights of stairs to get to the club with his chair, and uh, I have a hard time getting up those stairs. And he does it all on his own, so he's an incredible man. And with uh, some of the people who, uh, who have been known to work the system, it is uh, terrific. Now that he is out within your range of your applause, let's give Dan Buchanan one more huge hand. That's my brother right there. Yes, indeed. We are proud to call him friend. That's, uh, that's for sure.